just my old favorite game from my childhood. For me it's Western and our main character, Cooper, with his guns. It's just present. In the office, I think it's usually the meeting room because that's where we're sitting and we're discussing gameplay and then ideas pop up and that's where it usually happens. If I'm out of the office, it's very often in the shower <laughs> because, I don't know, ideas come in the shower, I guess. There is no specific rule or way to get like an inspiration. It's sometimes just happening. Oh yeah, there was a, <laughs> there was a lot of research, yeah. yeah. We did a lot of research. But it was a good experience, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah, it was fun to watch some Western movies. <laughs> a lot of discussions about, <laughs> yeah, can discussion. we put that in the game? Yeah. No, that's not realistic. It was a lot about uh, realism yeah. in, in the game. Yes. I think it was mostly in films, I would say, mm -hmm. and the old Desperados titles, where we, oh, yes. we looked a lot at, at them mm -hmm. and uh, analyzed how the style works and what is the mood in the games. and. Yeah, that we really wanted to capture that, so the players just feel a little bit nostalgia mm. and just feel like they are in a Desperados world. So that was a great inspiration. The old and games, films. yes, and films. Yeah. But for the settings, we had a lot of inspirations. I, I couldn't pin it down mm. which one or which film was the one that inspired us the most. Was, was, every movie had something that we wanted to add mm. to the game. Pick her clean, boys. Take everything that shines and anything what could drink a man blind. Um, you should tell the stories that you know. And it's not that we were in the Wild West or anything, or I have no experience with cows or horses. I was on a horse once, but that's it. But it's 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 about the dynamics between people. So what I always try to do is is is, is pull from people I know and in stories I know and try to go to the deeper story and see like what is happening between two people, what's the dynamics. And this is every everybody has experience in their life with people. And if one of the, the the themes that like crept into this game was like the old and the new, and this this is partly because we. This is the first time we have an, an existing franchise and we are we have the the responsibility to make the new version of that. Uh, I'm the design director at, at Mimimi, so I oversee the or work together with our creative director a lot on the game design of the game and I oversee the level design and I also do game design and level design. Because we're smaller, so everybody's like the directors are still actually working on the game and not only managing things. Um, so the, the idea for a new character usually comes from the people in the game design department. Um, so then the, usually what we do is Hambo and Dom come over to me and tell me the, the idea for the new character. And then we try to find a nice design for the character. Favorite character maybe... Probably Kate, because she has so many different uh, dresses and costumes, and they were, so, they were just the most fun to, to design for me. It's really, um, really cool. I love Kate uh, for, uh, for, for her skill set, because you can do so many things with her uh, if you're an experienced uh, player. And I um, actually designed a few different wedding dresses for Kate which is really cool. It's not something that you do every day, designing wedding uh, dresses, so that was fun. Hector, it, it was just such a delight to write. Hector, for sure, he's, the, he's funny, he's, he's the heart somehow of the, of, the, of the gang. And maybe Frank. I didn't like Doc in the beginning, because I thought he was this, you know, this, this cool black coat motherfucker, very you know, lean back and yeah. And now I love him, and he ad he adds so much humor by being hi yeah, the, himself. That's mainly taught, right? Like the, the voice actor. Yes, the, was, the voice actor was amazing. He like he yeah. he really brought the role to life. Isabel. Yeah, that's another very interesting. I think Isabel is a great example for uh, a character which we truly found after recording the voice, where yeah, we recorded the voice and went back to writing and rewrote a lot, I would say, especially her introduction, yeah, yeah, yeah. everything. So sometimes you're very straightforward, you know what you, what you want to have. And with Isabel, we're searching very long and, and 
the voice actor not the nail it she she invented yeah she invented the character basically we found her in the studio and then like okay yes that's it that's the way we want to go and then we rewrote texts for a lot of texts for her and in in this first draft here we can see that we definitely didn't want something that looked like a, a savage person from the from the swamp and we would rather have something that looks a little bit more sophisticated and then after just so many iterations we we landed on on a design that we liked for Isabel which looked like a person who comes from the the city but you can also see her voodoo aspects in her so it's a it's a very difficult mix and it was very hard to find and we played around so much with her with her clothing and with her face paint and the the last thing that happened is actually we we made her very old she used to be very young sort of maybe mid 20s and now she's a elderly lady which makes her really cool i think <laughs> Well, I'm like one of those persons that actually starts to scribble down stuff on a piece of paper and none of it makes any sense if you look at it, but it helps me think. And if that is too much, um, I just go into the kitchen and stare out of the window. Yeah, when I work on a hard problem, I usually put on my headphones and put on some carpenter brute or something like that and then <laughs> start working. <laughs> 